Hey there, Aaron! This is Zhao Cao playing Spyro Madness. And uh, today my plan is to finish Super Clearing World 1. There are two levels left to do for that purpose. And that's, that's what we're going to be doing. Summarized! Oh my god, I just got zapped. I think it's here, right? Idle Spring? Right, right. There's just like a part of the level that I just didn't find. No, right, I needed to swim. Right, and there's the pads that I thought you have to stomp. But here's the thing, at this point in time, I am keenly aware that the game makes it really obvious when, like, you need to have something. Like, you're gonna have an NPC that says, Spyro, you don't have eye lasers. And, like, that part's gonna be, like, all in green. Well, except here, though, but like, I feel like the swimming part is pretty obvious. I don't know. I want to see if there's anything I'm missing here. Because, like, I realized something about the pads with the shapes and whatnot. Uh, is that I wouldn't even know what to do with them. Like, even if you have to stop. So, I don't know. Maybe there's, like, a key I need. I don't know. I'm gonna keep saying that. That I just don't know, because I just don't. There was that one chest I saw that I couldn't really do anything with, but now I'm in the strange area, strange indoors area that has walls and everything you'll ever need. Okay, you're a nice NPC, I think. I've been locked in here with all our tools. Oh no! And the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. <laughs> what? <laughs> the first puzzle is to turn all, all these, these blocks, blocks yellow. yellow. Okay. If in trouble, come back and talk to me. All right. Solve first. Turn all the block yellow. All right, bud. Bud, bud, buddy, de bud. So is this a three-corner puzzle? Jump on it. It sure is! I don't know really how to do them, but I can jump on stuff. Yeah, so see, it's cool. So basically, whenever you jump on something, it reverses as well as everything around it, right? So the trick is to find out a way to become a goat farmer. Yeah, that's just how it goes sometimes. So now we're like that. Yeah, so I feel like I'm not really helping myself yet. I'm just gonna be bopping around and seeing what I can do. Bopped around! Then I can do that. Yeah, so that's just, that's just not really helpful. I can do that. See, again, not very helpful. Um... If I do this... Oh no, then I got it. And then I'll be able to do this. And there you go! Wow, just flop Spyro, around. You did it. I mean, I knew you could. Yeah, do it. I, you know that I could. I know. The next challenge. At the pond, huh? Okay, three puzzles for three o'clock news. All right, let me remember where the pond is. Well, maybe it's just where this started. Is that the guy with the pond? No, that's the guy that starts with a mission. All right, I just gotta destroy you there so that guy can open. Okay, here. This man, he's now right here, right by that big this head. Idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he swallowed ten fish. Ten he's fish, huh? His stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. That's okay. Flame fish to feed the idol, but he's very picky. Do you like that fish? Do you want orange fish? I got orange fish. Here we go. Just make sure your eyeballs work, and you can see that the fish is orange, it's the opposite color. See, not red, no, we want orange. You know, blue is the opposite on the color spectrum. It's, it's red and orange. There's red in orange, but it's not the same. Alright, look at that. I'm sitting here, looking at fish jump in front of me. Can I recognize colors? Yes, but also there's a certain timing aspect to it, because see there... I recognize the orangeness a bit too late, and it just didn't land really in his face. I feel like if you were hungry, you would be maybe opening your mouth a bit more, making it more easier for me to throw stuff in there, but maybe not. Although, it's kind of weird how little orange is popping up, and I'm finding that weird. Do you like red? No. 
Okay, so you are just sitting there waiting forever for Orange to exist then. Okay. Glad to meet you. I hit an orange guy. Whoa, I hit another orange guy. Now that's what we call puzzle. <laughs> okay, Spyro, there's one more puzzle to uh -huh. go. I'll meet you over by the college stones for your final that's challenge. That's what I thought. All right, see you there, buddy. But, so what about the chest that's there that I can't do anything about? Like, that is beyond where I'm allowed to go, right? Well, I mean, even if I could flutter out there, I don't have the means to destroy it yet. Maybe there's gonna be something later in the level. Right, there's the colored stones. There's random violence I'm causing. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, uh -huh. you will solve the puzzle. Oh, boy. I don't know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. All right. It's three things something. So you hit that. So you hit another star. Uh-huh. And that has an hexagon. So you hit the hexagon? No. If you Yeah, I know that. You don't need to repeat that to me every time. All right. Well, that one has a so star square star so star the star moon? No. If you is there a logic to this? Circle star. Like, I don't know. Like This one kind of has a circle and a diamond. That one shares a color? Alright. Moon pie. Yeah, like, you need to, like, basically play a game of Uno. You know. Like, you kind of associate shapes or color or something. Anyway, that chest is open nice now, job. and we're way back here. <laughs> okay. The dragons are all for being pretty smart, I'll have you know. Alright, sweet. It's your tool orb. It was not in your toolbox. It wasn't that. Oh, yeah, but yeah. The whole thing is that box of stuff. Right, so. I still need to get a bunch of gems. Like, is that all in that one box? I don't know how to open yet. That's the real mystery here. How do I get you open? So I remember there was a late stage water replace in here. Right here, I think. Maybe I can do more than I could last time due to my ability to swim. Well, I can go here and wad a little bit. That's pretty fun. Yeah, so there's this river here. There was like stuff here. That seems to be about it, and yeah, like, I can't, like, like, I can't go in the water here. Ah, uh, alright. Oh, there's stuff up there? On the roof or something? Here, I haven't been, because I remember here, that's that part. I remember going on these rooftops. Did I fall off before I explored them completely? Because I would believe it if you told me that. No, that looks to be about it. Oh, but there's totally urns here though, so okay, yeah. I didn't do everything on the top of things. Alright, so there you go. Little basket zone. Other basket zone. Alright, got you two. I think these are the two gems I saw that clued me in. So, nice to have you in my pocket. That will eventually be in a bear's pocket. Um. Straw hut going over here and the hope is that this leads me to something that will eventually like destroy 
Yeah, like, I don't know if that's like a missile that'll destroy that one chest. Because that's kind of what I need. Oh, that does look like a missile. A bomb of some kind. Fireworks. And away it goes. Whoa, it, it's kind of flying around all over the place. Yo, what an amazing little, like, super fly. I loved it. All right. Now there's going to be some gems that have fallen yeah, all over the place. Just big ol' litter bug. Yo, yo, yo! Idle Spring Dunzo! One more place. Glimmer. It's where we need to return. Then we'll be done. Just showing off going outside a level here. Just in case. Maybe people want to see... The diamonds going from treasure found to my collection, it's pretty satisfying. Big colorful gem moving around the screen. Never see that anywhere. Somewheres. I need to remember how to get back to Glimmer. Alright, Glimmer. Uh, part of the subtitle in the Euro version of this game, or Japanese version, I forget. First place you start the game before even the, the HUD. You just start right here. And yeah, I needed to learn how to climb to do things in the tower. As you do. Hi, Hi Pogo. These guys are not even attacking. Get out of here. Oh, no, wait, there's a power-up gate, right? So I'm going to need some souls. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, no. Yeah, if I need to fly... Also, I never busted you here? Barrel in the middle of nowhere? Oh, that's... that's a good sign. <laughs> like, you're just afraid. You're... you are actively pursuing him? Like, that's just confusing. Because, yeah, so this is where... Hit on up the ladder! Yeah, I need a couple of souls to be able to do anything here. Uh-huh. Oh, so I pressed the button. Sorry, it cuts off the voice acting. Yeah, the superfly power... Like, the lamps. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I sorted that one out. But, yeah, I need to end a few more lives so that I can use it. So, BRB. Then I'll be able to fly up there and get some stuff going, hopefully. Whoops. Whoa. Died somehow. Alright, soul count sufficiently high. Sufficient amount of lives have been sacrificed to the dragon gods of old. Letting them borrow me... No, the opposite. Letting me borrow... Their ancient magic spelled with a K. Here we go, we're flying. We're gonna turn on the slight. Uh, it's the first orb you collect in this place. Except now they're hanging on the ceiling. Yeah, 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 and stuff. And there you go, you got like barely enough time. Well, I didn't have a really good route, to be fair. Yeah, it's leaking rainbow everywhere. It's super gross. For a while, I was afraid we were going to have to cancel tonight's baseball game. Here, somebody mix this orb in with a baseball. You have baseball underground? Like, that just seems like a really bad idea. Unless this is the stadium, which doesn't really make a whole lot more sense. Uh, don't overthink it. Now, we can use this to fly in this wall. But more importantly, get stuck. But more importantly... Get on this side of the cave, that just spends the whole game taunting you. It's like, hey, there's all these stuff everywhere. What are you gonna do about it? I'm like, I'm gonna get them eventually. Oh, and I'm missing some feature. So yeah, if you hold all the shoulder buttons, Spark gets all nuts and he's like, hey, I really want to go in this direction. I don't know, I still think, I know not everyone agrees, but I like that. I like, it's just very handy when the worlds are pretty large. And like, sometimes the thing you forget is like really silly, so... Alright, find a gate to fly up there, it looks like. Yes, great! Great! No, I don't want to do that. I mean, 
I've already done it, so... Well, you know what? You live your best life. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Oh, yeah. So, I think... I, like, I probably knew they were the... Whoa, what's with that hole? What's with that here? I don't know. Uh, I probably knew about this, I just didn't bother to get them at the time. Because I was like, oh, but I'm gonna have to return for a second loop anyways. Uh, yeah, now that I know how this game works, the game is very obvious when you need to return for a thing. But I needed to return for a thing regardless. Like, I was right about that. Uh, a barrel here with a gem inside. Still not done. This time we're going. Is that the giant gem up there? No. You want me to go? Uh... In that cave? Have I never been in that cave? Well, there's clearly something going on there. Oh yeah, like that's where... Uh, okay. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not doing your thing, Bonsa. Quiet. There we go. That's all I wanted. I wanted to get a... Okay, so that's what that hole is. It's where lizards come out. By the way, level is over. So I got two active quests that I'm going to abandon by just not addressing. Just go in this magic door, do a loop around it. It's called a victory lap. It's always good fun. Cutscene. We didn't get a cutscene in the other place. I don't know why. It's okay, though. And here we are. Now, world one. Completely complete. Nothing left. No invincible tally being done. What are you talking about? And if we go here... That's right. Page full of hundreds. Uh, and so next time, we will be able to begin the next world. I guess I'll put myself in position. But I don't have to do that on camera. So whoops! Holding the buttons I don't need to.